Hey everyone, today I'm going to do something I've not done for a while and that is this. Sorry GJ Briggs. This innocuous looking bag of bits is Lego set number 6682. Now for those of you that have no idea what that is, and I imagine there's quite a lot of people, this is a cement mixer set released back in 1985. 1985! I picked this up for $9 on eBay. I'm very happy about that one. I had this set growing up and I was a big fan of it. I have the newest cement mixer but I, this one came up and I saw it and I just thought I had to have it. So I'm going to do a little fun build with it. But this one comes in at an entire 81 pieces. Let's get rid of my figure there. You can tell, oh there, falling over. You can tell how far these sets have come along. So let's just have a quick look at what's in the bag here. Let's empty it out. Now, for those of you who've never built one of these older sets, they're actually this four wide, rather than the six wide you get on the modern ones, or the, the sort of six and a half, seven you get on some of the bigger vehicles. So it's four wide, so it's gonna be quite a lot smaller than the new cement mixer. A little bit of rust on the axle there, not really surprising being an older set. But on the whole, it looked like it's in pretty good condition. There's a couple of bits of dirt on there, but nothing too much I can clean up as I go along. So what I'm going to do with this is one of my uh, one of my old school stop motion builds I haven't done for a while. So stick with me, I'm going to do that, and then I'll give you a run through of this set. Hope you enjoyed that build. It brought back some memories for me. I had this set as a kid, and um, just the, the way these went together is so different to the current ones. Like the way you, know, you very rarely see that in a normal car slash lorry in Lego anymore. Uh, the way the wheels are done with these big arches, uh, making sure the spacing's right. That big hinge to to do the mechanism. It's uh, it's all pretty different. This one's grill piece at the front. I haven't seen that for years. <laughs> Just working through it. I mean, there's so many pieces that are so familiar. The the hinge mechanism here, it did actually remind me. Uh, you, if you watch the stop motion, there was a bit where it probably moved a bit when I was doing the um, reversing and the tip out bit. But it was actually because I couldn't get the hinge to come up. And I seem to recall having exactly the same problem with it as a kid. So the fix is you can put a little plate in there, just a single one by two in there, so you never actually shut it all the way. <laughs> or just remember to never shut it all the way. Because when you shut it all the way, it's so, like, it just all comes apart rather than actually <laughs> you have to you have to remove the wheels to actually get the hinge to unclip which is the way the hinge is actually uh, see how tough that is to get up no wonder I couldn't get it to work crikey and the way the hinge is designed it's actually got a um, I hope you can see this on the on the camera there's actually a slight groove in there you probably see it there which is where you put your fingernail in to lift it up so by building out all of this you've lost 
that particular um, access that you really quite badly need. Again, like pieces hanging off the end here. It's all stuff you wouldn't see in a in a current Lego set. But at the same time, this is how they were made, and it was quite lovely. Got the cement in there as well. The um, I do have to clean this set up. I've realised it. It looks like someone's taped these closed at some point. So there's bits of tape on here. There's bits of grime. Some of these doors probably could do with replacing or or soaking to get brightened up but it's it's a nice little set I, I'm, I'm really pleased I have it <laughs> brought back some great memories I had a lot of fun with this I've always been into construction toys the lever here you pull that makes it go and empty out its cement there like that brilliant it's just so much so many little features in this I like it it's beautiful anyway I'm gonna stop rambling before I get too nostalgic but um I did like the minifigure actually in it who reminds me a bit of a postman for some reason I think they use the same print in postman he's got a letter on the front there which obviously his pocket he's um got the age-old classic creator expert <laughs> head around the back there I don't know what that is on the back it doesn't come off and you can see like this is such an old character it's got some cracks appearing down here in the in the in the actual molding of the figure but he's really lovely I like him he's faded a little bit over time but he looks great his face is absolutely perfect as is the helmet so inside there's a few bits of grime here and there so I'll give it a good scrub take it apart and give it a good clean back up and replace any bits that are a bit too worn or try and get them back to white at least I've got some other white that needs to but yeah let me know what you think oh, obviously that spins too with a nice smooth squeaky action there let me know in the comments what you think of this set is this one you had as a kid or is this one you now want to get for your collection to add to your cement mixes I'm pretty happy with that I've got some some memories come back I actually do have a version of this in my UK collection so eventually I'll have two of these if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe. I post regularly. And here's a couple more videos you'll enjoy. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.